Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve equations with combining like terms. As you can see, there are four important things that we need to remember when solving equations with combining like terms. The first step for combining like terms equations is to combine any like terms that are on the same side of the equation. Now, a like term is any term that has the same variable or is a constant. Now, a variable is just a letter that represents a number, and then a constant is just a number. So all numbers, if it's just a number, are like terms, and you can combine them. And then any variable combination that is the same as another term, you can combine together. After you combine like terms, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get the variable on one side of the equation and a number or constants on the other. So you'll want something like 3x equals 12. So you'll want the variable on one side of the equal sign and a constant on the other side. So in order to do that, the first thing you need to do is add or subtract constants or variables to get them on opposite sides of the equal sign. So you're going to want to add or subtract to get everything on opposite sides. After you do that, you will divide both sides by the coefficient on the variable. The coefficient on the variable is just the number that is in front of the variable in the term. So for 3x, 3 would be the coefficient, and then obviously x is the variable. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get to work and start on some practice problems for combining like terms equations. The first practice problem gives us 1 plus 4x plus 3 equals 20. Now we previously said the first step is to combine all the like terms that are on the same side of the equal sign together. Now in the case of this problem, our like terms are constants or are numbers. So numbers or constants will always be like terms together, which means you can always combine them together. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add the 1 and the 3 together. So 1 plus 3 is 4 and then we have to bring down the plus 4x and we're going to have equals 20 so this comes down and this comes down so we combine these two like terms together so we just did 1 plus 3 now we have to get the variable on one side and constants on the other so we, that means this constant here has to get moved to the opposite side of the variable so what we're going to do is because this is a positive 4 we have to do the opposite of positive 4, so we're going to subtract 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 on this side so that this cancels. And then whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you also have to do to the other. So I'm going to also subtract 4 on the other side. So when I do 20 minus 4, I will get 16 on this side. And then on the left, we have just 4x left over. Now the final step is to get this x by itself. And in order to do that, you have to divide by the coefficient or get rid of this coefficient. In the case of this problem, the coefficient is 4, so we're going to divide by 4. The reason we are dividing is because it's not written, but anytime you have a number in front of a variable, you are really multiplying. So this is like saying 4 times x or 4 times x. So the opposite of 4 times x is to divide by 4. So we're going to divide this by 4 so the 4's cancel. We did this on the left so we also have to divide by 4 on the right. So when you divide 16 divided by 4 you will get 4. So our final solution is x equals 4 because 16 divided by 4 is 4. Jumping down to problem number 2 this combining like term equation gives us 10x plus 3 plus 4x equals negative 25. So again, we have to combine like terms. The first thing we're going to do is combine like terms that are on the same side of the equal sign together. In this case, we have terms with variables that are like terms. So this 10x and this 4x are like terms because they have the same variable. So both of these can get added together. So we're going to say 10 plus 4x, well that's 14x, plus 
3, and this 3 just gets brought down, so plus 3 comes straight down, and then equals comes down, and then negative 25 on this side. So now we have 14x plus 3 equals negative 25. Now the second step was to get all the constants on one side and the variables on the other. So we have 14x on the left, which means we have to move this plus 3 over to the other side because we want only numbers on this side and only variables on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite of plus 3, which is minus 3, here. So they cancel. And then on the other side, we also have to do minus 3 because whatever you do to this side, you have to balance it by doing it to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do negative 25 minus 3. Well, that is negative 28. And then we bring down 14x on the left. And our equal sign stays right in the middle, comes straight down. Now we have 14x equals negative 28. Remember, this coefficient is like saying multiplication. So this is like saying 14 times x. The opposite of 14 times x is to divide by 14. So I'm going to divide by 14 over here so that the 14s cancel. And I'm also going to divide by 14 on this side because whatever you do on one side, you also have to do to the other. So we have negative 28 divided by 14. Well, that is negative 2. x comes right down. So we have x equals negative 2 as a solution to this combining like term equation. And finally, the last practice problem for equations with combining like terms gives us 46 equals negative 3x minus 5 plus 6x. So again, the first thing we have to do is combine like terms. When we combine like terms for this equation, what we have to do is we have to use the terms with the same variable. In this case, both of these terms, negative 3x and 6x, have an x with them, which means that they are like terms and you're going to combine them together. When we do that, we're going to say, well, negative 3 plus 6. What is negative 3 plus 6? That is positive 3x. This minus 5 comes straight down because we did not change it, so it's just negative 5. And then 46 also comes straight down on this side. Now we have 46 equals 3x minus 5. So the next step, remember, is we need to get the constants on one side and the variable on the other. In this case, the variable is on the right side, so I need to get rid of this minus 5 and move it to the left. The opposite of minus 5 is plus 5. So I'm going to add 5 to this side, and then to balance that out, I'm going to add 5 to this side. We have 46 plus 5 on this side, which is 51. And we have 51 equals 3x, which comes straight down. Now we know 3x is like saying 3 times x, so I'm going to go ahead and divide by 3 on this side, and divide by 3 on this side. 3 divided by 3 obviously cancels, and you just have x. And on the left, we have 51 divided by 3, which is 17. So our solution to this combining like term equation is 17 equals x, or x equals 17. And if you want to do some more practice problems or download the free worksheet, go ahead and click the link in the top right corner of the screen to get taken to a practice quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it. And drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!